Hello everybody, welcome back to FTR Mod Season 3, still playing the Custom R-Wing New Adventures by Gen Cool. Last episode I dug myself in a bit of a hole when I went for a weapons upgrade being caught up by the Rebel Fleet and I decided to cut it there before the ship got destroyed. This is why there's still a continue here. Anyway, we're going to start off a new one. Uh, we're going to take another dude. Let's see. Uh, we did Fox. Let's go with the next one. Peppy here. Measured defense. Peppy here. Is on board. Warning if you have a new system, blah blah blah, your ship will be unable, blah blah blah. Perform a system check. Ah, we just get shields. Alright. That's good. Start off with. Uh, really? We only get one? No, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get another one. We have a venting system, can be manual control along for better fire suppression. Alright. Fire the ship navigation, ship can detect hazards and nearby beacons so you can make more informed the field jumps. Alright. And Fox, you are a. Just a normal combat drone. Alright, good. Kind of interesting that you get all the other. Ah, oh, man, you can look at the entire ship. Cool. So we can no longer get any more systems. Alright. Well, I mean, the important ones are here cloaking. We've seen that do good stuff as well. So does that mean we can. Technic. Commonly just upgrade weapons and get all the cool stuff again and don't even have to worry about spending 200 and so much on shields we'll attack that's a lot of crew on board Interesting shield hitting noises there. Right. I'm guessing we're going to be needing our smart bomb on this one. Resisted it. Suck on that. We took the hull damage, though. Could be worse. There, smart bomb is hitting. Not too many important things. I think it missed one as well. Uh, six fueling, bad. Uh, but we don't need it just yet. Oh, we hit shields for... Whoa. Five. That's rough. Ooh, that's a fire. That's gonna be a problem as well for you, isn't it? No, those are miss sounds. Those are noisy as hell as well. Yeah, we'll do another one. Alright, so next, of course we're going to try and find as much stores as we can again. There seems to be the good place to go at. I'm gonna upgrade this so I can get the better weapon as well. At least that's how it should go, I think. Um, yeah. Found you, found you, found you. Yes, you did. Congratulations. Now here's a cookie. Please shove off forever. Now we're gonna be dodging those. Or we won't. Maybe a bit of bug, we take this thing offline? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so the doors are here as well. I know it. I suppose it does make sense in one way. I mean, why would you put the, the, um, every single system in a separate room? I mean, this way you need tons and tons of crew in order to man them all. Now we just need like one dude and he's manning medbay and piloting and all that other stuff. Even though he doesn't really need to pilot those. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, as long as we can find... As long as we can find our store in this sector, we should be good. AI avatar generator. 
Um, we've seen from last episode what happens to get our crew back. So do I want to give up an upgrade? No. Now yeah, gener AI generator would be fun though, but no. I know it can uh, break stuff. So, hacking, huh? Alright, thankfully it only hacks one thing. I was actually kind of worried that it would uh, hack doors, and oxygen, and that, and that, but apparently not. So that's good. That's good. Go for that because that has a medicine. He's gonna take him quite some time to fix. I'm gonna dodge these, hopefully. Alright. Um, auctions over here. Let's go for their weapons next. We will not. Uh, let's destroy him. Light auto laser. No. So, from what I'm learning, missing out on stores in this mode is going to be really, really detrimental to you. Um, yeah. You can't hurt me anyway. Um, why don't you go fix... Didn't breach, so I don't care. Pick through the remains of contact the settlement. Alright, good amount of scrap. Ah, there's our store. Um, weapons are upgraded, so we sh I wonder if we upgraded it again, if we could immediately go for the other thing. Or do we actually have to go one by one? Yep, we can really get the smart twin laser. Alright. Sweet. Order the smart twin laser power up. Cool. <clears throat> so how the hell did you manage to get this one centered with these two arms? Yeah. I really shouldn't bother, and I'm not going to either. So we can replace our clone bay if we need to. Don't need to fix anything. Defense scrambler, no. Alright. Um Oh, we need to head to the quest, so let's do that as soon as possible. Our un un unmanned satellite guards the area. They prepare a ship for combat. Did that make a noise when I depowered this? When I depowered the engines, I mean. Interdasting. Technically, if I just keep this up, you should have nothing on. Well, if I keep doing that, I'm gonna have nothing on you either, so let's just wait a bit longer. Hmm, sorry about that. Needed to have a drink. Usually I'm in the microphone, but I forgot. So technically, you can just fire auto fire at the start to immediately get this up to five, and then wait for the second one. Interesting strategy. Definitely interesting. I didn't even know the um, engines had a custom power-up or power-down sound. 
Nothing to do, yeah. You arrive to find a beacon in the middle of the natural belt. The defense systems of the power box are more resilient enough to survive this, but you have to be careful to avoid any damage yourself. We'll just get our shield layer going. Oh, so he's got a defense drone of his own, but they aren't powered, so why do he, does he have a, is that a repair drone that's in there or something? Well, this is a bit of a problem though. Um, we're gonna have to send out some drones just to take care of this thing. Lame. But that's the way it is. It's odd that there are no asteroids coming here, so I'm guessing there he's got a defense drone up. In the same way as we are, because this thing still looks white, so don't go off of that by all means. Vargos breaks opening, you swing by the collector reward. Smart twin laser improve weapon recharge rate. It's effective enough to have a charge time after just the first shot. Your weapon's bay is just about strong enough to use this weapon, but a single hit would knock the system out. Maybe why so weird your weapons a little before using this. You'd think so, but no. Well, I'm gonna have to get out of here first, but. Nope. Alright, so we never did get to choose these. Um, let's stop them from boarding with me with even more people. I go deal with the intruder. So this one has less shots to it. Chain charge. Oh, it's a different weapon. No, no. no wait, wait. Uh, what am I doing? How many shots does it have right now? One. Whilst the other one had four. Do we get different weapons with different ships then? Should help you win this fight. Yeah, I did. Okay, did. Alright, uh, power down the engines. So, how many shots do I have right now? Just two again. What? So, I actually took a worse weapon on the previous run then. I suppose we could always call in our buddies, but... Yeah. <coughs> oh no, I'm still using the old version of the weapon, right? I was like, what? <sighs> wow, uh, yeah, that was moronic. Feel free to write a bit of a note on that one for me. Um, yeah, I think we're on our way out anyway, right? But did I just screw the pooch or not? Nope. Alright, um, yeah, these are the smart twin lasers. Alright, so they could actually use one more power bar. Alright. Ah, man. Mm, I don't hire anyone. Do I? 
could have done that, I think, if I had scrap for it. Boba Shipyard, no, Rock Miner, eh, we've got cloaking. Oh, right, forgot to upgrade that. Yeah. That's not a smart move. See if we can do any upgrades. Um. The dog will store great fox in your shells and to meet you, you'll need to depower your release. Can't use this. Remember to restore it when you're done, or you'll stand no chance in a fight. Who so that better? One. Charge time five. Charge time one. So this is better. No, this one doesn't require a missile. Or at least it doesn't say so. A powerful tool that you quickly repair the layered systems of your ship when out of battle. Remember to reactivate your laser cannon after use. Yeah, this thing doesn't require missiles. Alright, um, you're going out then. Alright. Uh, we can buy sensors. Do we need sensors? I mean, we got a slug, so why would we want sensors? Um, I think that's all we really want from here, huh? Mm, and those take power, though. Well, these don't. And they get a, have a chance to not get k killed when shot at. Oh, no, that counts for uh, anti-combat drones as well. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta make sure that never happens again. It's a crystal ship-ish thing. A ship marking is made of the Rock Grand Inquisition jumps. A ship with markings of the Rock Grand Inquisition jumps to the beacon shortly after the hail. What is this? You dare corrupt our holy void on this day with when our holy forefathers just bless us with their visit. Prepare to be purged from those galactic plane alien instigators. Well, aren't you all fancy like? Religious fanatics. I see how many shots we have on this thing now. One, two, four. Yeah, okay. So I was completely off of myself with that. It's just this thing can't hurt me. If it was just this thing, it would have. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to start complaining that I'm the bad person here. Then again, they already... Do. Oh, we get two shots from our first thing. Okay. The bastard vessel submits to the force of the attack and breaks apart into crystal shards and sort of scrap materials. Right. So, upgrading stuff that's on our R-Wing allows us to do other upgrades. As far as I'm aware. So, what comes standard on the R-Wing? The artillery, but we can't do that because it's too expensive. Drone control, which I don't really see the point of. Considering our drones don't need power, but it's a system that starts off with it. And there's oxygen, cloaking, and engines. And med bay. Hmm. Alright. We'll wait for them to fire once before we fire in our good stuffs. Where's weapons? There they are. Get the piling for some extra evasion. There we go.
You can resist all you want, but it's not gonna do too much good. So I've got two shots with this, right? Yeah, I do. Alright, so indeed there is something wrong with um This thing is still going up to fire, but I don't really see the... Uh, we could still finish them off, Cap. Yeah, go after them. Hell yeah. They're pretty much out of shield, so what much? how much of more of a fight should they be able to put up anyway? Alright. Always with the missile launchers. Right. I don't really see them charge up any quicker, though. Um... Because I do remember it saying something about that. Yeah, now it started a fire. Hmm. That's a level 3 auction support. Why the hell would you ever need that? There's their shields back online. Did start a fire, unfortunately. Okay. We have to look up the description of this weapon. Does it actually fire fast, or is it just the extra charge you're getting? Or, ah, it's probably because we don't have any other weapons, so this bar doesn't go down. This chain just goes up quicker. Recharge drops to 5 seconds after the first volley. Oh, there's only one charge then. Master charge, charge per charge, max shots. We get two shots though, so it's... Two shot, no. Two shots per charge, I would do two charge job. We got four shots. <coughs> I can't speak anymore. This whole terminology is getting me a bit messed up, <clears throat> to say the least. And no more missiles for you. Fire and everything, how fancy is that? Mm, well, there goes your artillery. That's a shame and a half. At least we can vent. Asteroid field, we can deal with that. Seeing how killing crew is probably not really possible with a ship like this, we might as well try and finish them off as soon as is humanly possible. Which means going for their shields. Can't upgrade, well, not switch out, our, can't upgrade or switch out our weapons yet, but eventually. Oh, no. Well, that's what you get. Well, 
Rebel Fleet. It's going to catch up. Should have left. Well, that's cab vision for you. Um, if you're in a rock sector, you should expect black holes and not cut it as close. Ah oh well. Sucks a bit, but what can you really do? Not much. Not much. Half of my shots missed. They didn't even have a pilot. Alright, so we're gonna have a bit of a problem, huh? Alright, uh, I suppose we should just leave, yeah. So. And pretty much hope for the best. PDS and everything. Oh man, look at the amount of... Oh, and he's gonna board as well. Oh boy. So far we can withstand... Old ground... Shooting at them isn't going to really bring me any benefit, is it? Um, can't lower that. Ah, let's lower the artillery. Right, that's only two shots. Should be able to be just fine. We'll cloak through this. Great. We'll wait for the cloak to run out before we do any shots of our own. So my shields are... Completely protected against being destroyed by enemy crew. Now there's a convenience. That's it. Planetary defense systems are up and running. I don't see them personally. <clears throat> so as long as they aren't coming in, I'm just going to keep on shooting at them. At least it becomes too dangerous, and we'll have to get out. So far we're not really into any real problems. At least it's not as bad as they are. <laughs> ah, we are safe. So, why is there no PDS anyway? Weird. I suppose you could use cloaking to maybe get some more supplies? We've got higher level cloak, so it might just work. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Uh, Rebels are anticipated your intention. Fears B shots impact on the wreck of the signal and blow it to small bits. Nothing remains salvageable. Then a cruiser starts to fire a full spread pattern. They will let you eventually. You have to get out of here. All right. And I've got ASB warning, PDS warning. Although the PDS never did do anything. The all seeing court or the inner mines. All seeing court is Zoltan. I'm not going to bother with the Zoltan sectors. Thank you very much. Uh, let's, let's crew improve the impact for port and ship systems. Finally, scanners. Okay, we can do quite a few things. Um, right. Um, gotta do something real quick. Sorry about it. Let's carry on. Uh, 
to battle, obviously. Uh, sure. F free fuel. Yeah, we'll help him. What do we get? <coughs> Nothing to really worry about. I should probably power the artillery, huh? Dude doesn't need health anyway. Do wonder when we will get those artillery upgrades. It would make sense to put it on cloaking because cloaking can be upgraded. Um, only two times. Yes. Putting it on medbay would be odd, but you gotta put it at something, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go to our store, see if the upgraded cloaking gets us anything. And uh, we'll go from there. Could be bound to drones, but it feels kind of stupid to upgrade those. So I'm not going to. Just yet. It's interesting though, we're upgrading weapons to get better weapons rather than having room for more. It's kind of interesting. Which starts to beg me the question, will there be weapons that are over five, uh, over four power requirements? Hmm. Interesting. And we get a baton beam. And an ion burst stunner, which we all can't use. Oh well. Alright, free reactor power means we'll power up that a bit more. Hope our store is over there somewhere, not down here. If I had a disabled rock transport floating at a beacon, you consider shipping it off useful parts, but are uncertain why it's there in the first place. Luck crew, check for life form to keep a lookout for ships while looting the wreck. So if you can from ship, no life forms or ships are detected nearby. Alright. Uh, we'll attack. And we're gonna get boarded. Which is fine. Med base powered up, and we'll vent this. Now I know you can out heal, but can we kill you in time to make that not a problem? Well, like that we will. Alright. Four misses out of three shots, that's always brilliant. We're not gonna get aborted again because they don't have any way of healing their crew. Oh, we will get boarded again. Okay. Forget I said anything. Yeah, didn't dodge those, did you? And <laughs> you stunned your own crew, you idiots. Once again, we're not killing anyone. Another 50% of our shots missed. Okay, just some random system damage to two of our things, which is annoying. There we go. Verse Ion Field. That's nice. We'll uh, be sure to make use of that. Gonna wait for the air to come back in before we repair weapons, I think, is top. No, it's actually cloaking. Okay, well, we don't really need it. Um, see if our store is down there. Alright, missile weapons are plenty. We're gonna have ourselves a bit of a problem, won't they? 
Okay, good. Piloting is gone. Don't know if they had any to begin with. Uh, abandon the ammo. I don't have a real need for missiles other than repairing. Although we don't even need that anymore, I think. Alright, store is not down there. Which is a nuisance, but something we'll live by. Uh, ignore. Not there either. Hmm. Kind of disappointed now. <clears throat> we will do some upgrades to our ship then. Um. Seems the ship came here to blah, 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 attack the Zoltan. Even though I hate fighting Zoltan ships. No, resisted your damage. It sucks, huh? Yeah, I did. One hit. One hit. Cloak. Okay, now we can charge up completely. And we'll send you back to... Weapons. <laughs> Took out half my systems. Oh, brilliant. <clears throat> Simply brilliant. Alright. It looks like we're gonna hit it. Shields. That smart bomb is pretty darn potent, I would say. Alright, let's use the bomb for a change. Um. See how that thing does. Yep, fixed everything. Cool. Did we kept charge on the twin. How the hell does that happen? Uh, well, looks like we're gonna miss out on the store here. Um, let's upgrade all of them just to see if they do anything. You know, for research. It would be kind of stupid if it was all tied into the weapon system, but... Alright. That was simple enough. Missile launchers are plenty. There goes the artillery. We don't need all the shielding. Takes care of that. Yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna get to the artillery if to fire. Well, maybe we will, but it's gonna take a bit longer. That's an empty room. It's unfortunate because I thought it was oxygen, but because of this thing, it's actually over there. Alright. Ammo Vantage Factory, you can keep that. Ah, uh, more missiles, huh? Okay. But all that, we still haven't found crew. I wonder if all those events were taken out, um, but... It will kind of surprise me, to be honest with you. We don't get a warning for a solar flare anymore. Hmm, kind of annoying. Hoping to take care of that fire before it 
destroys us all. Nope, we won't. That sucks. Well, there goes the weapons. Maybe the smart bomb will do some good things for us in the meantime. I don't know. Eh, not really. Well, cloaking is the top one, which is annoying. Should have just vented it straight away, but I thought our slug would have been able to handle it. I was wrong. You're just sitting there now, like, yep, got nothing to do here. Alright, our weapons are back online. Still no warning for the solar flare. Oh well. Learned our lesson, we'll vent straight away. Out of here just in time, it seems. Yep. Oh, we still had some time left, it seemed. No problem. Um, nah, reactor's fine. Upgrades are coming in quick, though. Maybe because we don't have to bother with buying weapons and such. Could be. Let's upgrade this some more. Maybe we'll get another weapon in. Maybe. <clears throat> just maybe. Health crisis. Oh, no. Spend some additional fuel. Socialize. Move on. Continue. We have to find our store. And we're going to have to go to that distress beacon as well, which I don't really enjoy too much. Hopefully it's just some combat. No. Uh, we'll fight. Though I probably should have just hired him to scout the sector, which means we would have known where our shop was. Yeah, well. Weapons are over here. Kept the missile launch online. Haha, <laughs> who would have guessed, right? Alright, let's get some of our dudes up. You and you. Until you hit <clears throat> before we fire. And dead. Mm, ah, yeah, stores are right over here. Alright, let's see what we can do. We'll probably have a good amount of stuff to do, right? Contact Great Fox. Ah, there we go. Um. Before you go ahead to the store, you have time to contact the Great Fox. See what's up. Delay the Rebel Fleet plus one other action. Okay, let's see what this does. We should attempt to hold up the fleet. Is there further assistance required? Yeah. Um, let's actually upgrade our laser cannon first. These upgrades are custom build, blah blah blah. Smart hyper laser power up. You can get a backup battery, but we don't need it. We'll sell off this and that. And both of our quests are over there, so that's where we're going to go be going. 
Rebel fleet is still nowhere to be seen. We've actually got a good amount of time left. I ignored that request because I could lose crew on that. Up, oh, and there's another store, which means we will be able to upgrade our artillery as well. <clears throat> I don't think I need this anymore. Upgrade the smart bomb launcher. Um. Mm, don't think I need sensors. All right, let's get both of our power-ups. By following directions, giving you your final well-disguised outpost, you are welcomed by a friendly face offers to assist you in your quest by joining your crew. Hey! All right. Oh, there's a quest marker over there. How the hell am I supposed to get there in time? Oh, man. <clears throat> That's going to be a nuisance. But we have to go there because reasons, right? Uh, ooh, this is actually... You arrive in the middle of a nebula. You manage to locate the package without your sensor, but you spot movement through the windows. Another one of my ship has intercepted the package. This one more even more well equipped than the last. Perhaps the rebels are catching on to your techniques. You fire up your weapons. But do you have shields? That is an interesting question. <clears throat> Which means basically if I destroy the ship, I'll also get this. Hey, you don't even have dodge chance. Um, speaking of dodge chance, I think I might just cloak right now because this thing will pierce through freaking everything. Now it won't. There's a slug on board there. How interesting. So I don't even need to burst through the super shield, I can just... I get the thing. Well, there you go. A little touch super shield isn't always the be-all, end-all. Oh, you do have dodge because piloting is in here. Alright, yeah, no, okay. Cool. But all that it is doing it like that, I mean... Why would an upgrade contain a pilot an entire ship, but... Who knows? Ooh, that's level 3 cloaking. Aren't you all fancy and stuff? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a thing. Cloaking's out. Stop hitting the super shield. There you go. Now where's my upgrade? With the ship taken care of, you are able to collect some supply before it, from it before clicking the upgrade. Smart hyper laser is the final power up for the R Wing. It retains all the aspects of the hyper laser combined with a smart laser to half the cooldown time after first shot. Receive, I'm coming up from slippery. Uh, weapon will be currently max out your weapons bay, which will maybe incredibly dangerous. You require upgrading it a couple of times before equipping it. Really? It really takes three power. No, wait, this thing. Five. Fire two powerful hull crushing lasers simultaneously per volley. After two volleys, it always takes four seconds to charge. Could own to charge a double powered shot. Alright. How much power does this thing even take? One, two, no, I just don't have enough. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get to that other quest marker. It should be more than fine, actually, now that I look at things. <coughs> uh, you can have 15 missiles. Right, let's get our smart bomb upgrade. Well, what are we gonna get here, huh? Case confirmed, things supply, look at the box. Systems have to run on low power, but at least you're safely hidden for the time being. Crack the box open to collect the power up. Alright. We don't need shields. Or engines.
Alright, so let's see what this thing does. Do we get more shots or anything? No, only four as well, but what's the possibility extra then? Chain charge blast, area effect time, and drains the lock systems. Drains the lock system, that's high on damage. Why is it standing on this thing then? One, two, four. Ah, so it does high on damage and... Okay, yeah. I can see this being quite potent. Why the hell was there? Oh yeah, because that was we are getting. Bogger breaks open, releasing this bomb upgrade. Hangs effortlessly in space. Your ship shoop, scoops it up, but easily is prepared to jump. Okay, cool. Um, well, I think I'm gonna cut it here for now. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I would probably do go as far as I will because I know Genkul has usually got well from the TARDIS I know there were some special things going at the end maybe there's one for this one as well I don't know but we'll see anyway thank you guys for watching hope you're still enjoying the series feel free to show support by commenting liking and or subbing if you haven't already I'll see you guys on the next episode bye everyone